the state capital of Connecticut in downtown Hartford. Tonight, that's the scene. It will be UConn against Lafayette at the XL Center in the away maroon jerseys. Terrific to have you with us on ESPNU. It will be Carlton to jump against Lucas Jarrett as the tip is controlled by the Huskies. Jalen Adams averaging over 18 points a ball game, 21 against Arizona. Gilbert swings it wide right, and they hit the three. That's Christian Vital for Dan Hurley. Good drive by Adams, cut off. Finds Gilbert. Gilbert trying to knife through the lane. Polly with a three, and he hits it. Clock running down. The feisty defense continues, and what a block from the weak side by Carlton. He's had some ups and downs, but right there we saw the up. Perfect backside defensive position. <laughs> that's how possessed, that's how maniacal. I love his passion for the game and the way that he prepares for the game, even in shoot around. It's a position on the opposite end where they really get out and pressure you. Pauly. And the putback by Carlton against Arizona on Sunday. That's something that Dan Hurley drastically, this just in, wants to cut down as Adams takes the elbow jumper. It's on the mark for Zalis. Paula Zalis coming off a big game against Sacred Heart. Deep three by Jalen Adams. Sixer since Jimmy Butler came in the board. That means that you got a guy like Landry Shannon who brings some youthful enthusiasm to, to at Rhode Island. Of course, played for P.J. Carlismo and for George Blaney. He, he credits Blaney with saving his playing career. Nice up pick by Jarrett. And an equally good block by Carlton. Josh Carlton is changing the game. And Pauly from Adams. That was pretty. Aim for the Huskies. Great defense. Good steal by Altari Gilbert. Pauly hits the three. UConn has held Lafayette without a bucket for the last 340 as Tyler Pauly now has a career best in points. Take a look at Tyler Pauly. Now, early in the season, I'm not sure he would take and make this shot. He might attempt it, but not with the same attitude that he has today. I like the growing confidence of number 12 in white, Tyler Pauly. Gilbert swings it. And the stick back by Carlton. They offer that. I would have probably done that instead of the guitar. It would have been much better. Jalen Adams in front of the foul line. Defensive transition. And then gave up an offensive rebound. That's why he's sitting right now. And he deserves to sit. Adams. He's not sitting. Etiquette. A roster of great players. Jaworski. And Polly the rebound. Brendan Adams with a knife through the lane. Not Toledo. I love that kid's game. I'll win a lot of games with him. I think you would. You've won a lot of games with anybody. No, I win. Different times. You were the inspiration for Moscow on the Hudson, was that correct? Yeah, right. Vital with a deep three. He's also had guards that were always willing to rebound, and this UConn team is, is so frail inside, it just doesn't have much depth. This is their usual custom to begin the game, and here's a steal, beautifully done by Gilbert. That was easy. That's as good a half-court defense as you will see. That was absolute textbook. We're gonna get another one right here. UConn came to play in the second half. Oh. Oh. By Tao. Guys, why? Because UConn came out with more energy defensively. The rotation by Gilbert makes it look easy on the opposite end. Knocks down the easy basket. Next possession, here we go again. With a Hall of Fame coach, now he realized what he was doing. He got in the line right away and shook hands. But he and his players were so excited, they kind of forgot about that, that handshake thing. <laughs> Hurley's way, he's a differentiator for this team. Vital causes the turnover. Look at his feet, just gets set. That's smooth. You knew Pauly was going to drop it in based on the form. See, Carlton's standing up right now. They're going to talk about it with his motor. He's got to get down. He's got to be in a ready position and be more athletic. He's, As the least, he's been the one offensive bright spot for this Lafayette team, especially in the second half. Jalen Adams again. The New York Times had a great story on Dan Hurley, his father and how it has been so difficult for him this year to... Terrence Smith's been quiet. Eric Cobb in the post has been quiet too, but he converts. Young guards and Tyler Harris who can really score, and Alex Lomax on the point guard. They're smallish, 
but they can really defend. They can really play. They get loose balls. They make big shots. You mentioned UCF. Yeah, that's where I think UConn's really going to be challenged with the size of, U of UCF. Brendan Adams starting to feel it. That team is just dirty, nasty, stingy defensively year in and year out under Johnny Dawkins. And are they a sleeping giant like their football program has been revitalized as Terrence Smith hits it? Trying to score against Taco Fall. You need Another Han Solo to rescue you. You need Han Solo. You need a lot more than that. I think Gilbert's done a tremendous job. While he's not scoring as much, he's making everybody on the floor better, just like that. Right on cue. Those people are nuts. <laughs> it's one of my favorite cities to go in America, is Wichita. I go to the Doodah Diner. Sydney Wilson. Nice. How about that? Five players in double figures. Second time this year. UNH the first time, November 24th. And the turnaround is good by Daniel Brocky. Three by Austin Evans. And Brendan Adams will kill the clock at the XL Center. So UConn led from the jump to improve to 7-2. and two. Dan Hurley loving it with a 27-point win.